What is going on everybody? My name is Alpha Jelly and welcome back to Tech It. And today I've got a lot of stuff to teach you guys and to showcase to you because well today we're gonna oh my god work on our oil refinery and turn the rain off because it's bloody annoying. And well first of all I have upgraded my energy collector slash relay uh, kind of system fully and I, I've had a couple of things on the top as well so it produces more more EMC and it it is now actually like a lot a lot faster and what I do is just kind of like break those when I need to get the, <clears throat> the dark matter and then I just uh, shift uh, I press shift I hold shift and I place it back actually a subscriber of mine has suggested me and told me that I can just hold shift and not you know have to I, I don't need like any placeholder blocks anywho I have also finished my core. Oh my buttocks! And I just I forgot. Where's my ring? Give me back my ring, God. Uh, so yeah, my core number two has finally finished, and um, this looks like such a mess. Also, I'm probably gonna start the core number three, which is gonna be 32 by 16 one off camera because I have not prepared it for this episode. I don't really know why did I not, but I just didn't. Anyway, also I have finally finished my solar panel system right here. And I have finally got the maximum level of E. I mean, the maximum amount of power in my MFSU. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this produces like a ton of power. I'm probably not gonna upgrade it to the medium voltage one anytime soon because I have to downgrade the power when I, when I upgrade, and it's kind of like just a pain in the ass. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, what are we going to do in this episode? First of all, we are going to kick it off by making ourselves a... Woo, where is that? Alright, there we go. A quantum suit body armor. And for that, we will need some of you. Some of advanced alloys, some of iridium plates. I have showed you guys how to make all this stuff um, in my previous episode, so do not ask me. Now let's go charge it. Uh, because I'm like having a lot of people asking me, how do you make this, how do you make that? And I, if I make something off camera, like 99.9% is that I have made it in my previous episodes. So there is really no need to ask me, just check back in the previous episodes. And it should be in the title or the, you know, the text of what I make and whatnot. And right now my inventory looks like, like a freaking mess. But I will actually use most of the stuff in the in the oil refinery build. Meanwhile, we can also make ourselves a dark matter pickaxe. And why I'm making one is because I cannot use my bat box and my my body armor at the same time. So I, you know, and if I don't, my mining drill will just drain in like a matter of seconds. So it's around the time we say bye bye to my diamond drill. It's been it's been a good drill. Nothing against it. It's just you know it's time has come because I'm gonna get something a lot better. Get a drink like a boss. Charge my dark. Wait, actually, how do you charge the dark matter one? Do you like... Uh, oh yeah, just press V. I got no idea how it works though, so let's try it out. Um... Um... It looks kind of slow. Let's try its tone. Uh, right now I prefer my diamond drill. Let's just fucking do that for a second. Alright, now let's try it on its tone. Um... Yeah, yeah, definitely. The dark matter one is a lot faster, actually. It is indeed. All right, good, good. So let's go. Just put our our drill back, back in the chest, um, and wear my body armor. And now I should probably be able to swim in lava because um, with the with the quantum body armor, I should not be able to intake any damage. So let's test it out in this lava pit right here. Hopefully, I'm right. Just just hopefully. Ah. Uh. This is scary, man. This is... This is <laughs> Look at all the stuff I've got. Ah. Oh, maybe not. Nope, my heart was going down there for... for No. I don't want to risk it. Uh, it looks like I can be there for quite a while. I don't want to risk it, though. Anyway, I think that I want to have the full armor, though. I can actually swim in it. That's as far as I know. Or maybe not. Who cares though? I mean, why would you need to swim in lava? I can, you know, I can jump in lava and be there for quite a while without dying. So that's like, that's kind of comfortable for mining. Anyway, some, some, some more stuff that we have to make is first of all an oil refinery. And for that we just need three tanks and um, diamond gear. Then three tanks like this, I think. And then, 
Uh, yep, there we go. That's how you make an oil refinery. We will need two for today. And also we need two combustion engines. I just made one off camera and I'm going to make one on camera. So you guys know how to make one. And no, this is not how to make one. So, ah, forgot it, forgot it, forgot the glass. Uh, the glass, glass, glass. Take one from my chest. And place you up here. There we go, got two of those. Now what else will we need for our adventure? We need some more glass. And I think that that's pretty much it. Just put this stuff back. Put this back. Put this back, sleep, and I've got uh, 10 dark matter as you guys have seen, and it's not nearly enough to make a red matter. So I'm not gonna work on it like anytime soon. Probably after I finish my oil, oil refinery though. Anywho, I think that we should have everything. Oh, and also we need to make some uh, conductive golden pipe, so let's make like 10. And we need to make some conductive. Uh, wooden transport pipes as well, so we need two. There we go, that's how you make those, and I think we, we can leave this here. Good. Now we can go to our oil refinery, which I have marked out pretty well. I mean, not pretty well, just was dirt. Derp. Oh, yeah, I got some dirt with me, sweet. So, let's start building. Oh my god, this is exciting stuff. So, 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 so. First of all, I want to make a kind of look kind of neat and and technical and whatnot so I will use some some iron scaffold for that and I think that um let's see let's just kind of like give it the feeling that it comes from behind oh where right, where'd it go there we go so let's give it a feeling that it comes from like kind of like no ah oh, derp what am I doing where's my dirt oh should have probably built it off camera I should have probably but yellow. So uh, let's see how far can we go. Probably, probably we should want we want the platform above this. So somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now break this corner and break one inside and then place. I need some to place some dirt down. There we go. Nope. Too high. Uh. Yep. So like this. Like this. Like. Nope, that's not what I want. Nope. Uh, let's see this. I probably should have made more iron scaffolding. Yep. Ah, oh, derp. Do you have any more iron fence? I should have some. I should be able to make some more at home pretty easily. So let's run back home. Well, bunny hop. Actually, what is the fastest way to travel? I think it's just like just running. I think. Yeah, I think this is always faster than just jumping. But jumping is a lot more cool. So, uh, yes, this is my iron fence, and I need some, some more refined iron, so I uh, guess I'm from here, and let's make... Oh, I just forgot my combustion engine here. Derp. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, oh, just two. It's all right. And then we just place those. Oh, uh, that's not how you place them. I think it's like this. Uh-huh. There we go. Got the iron scaffolding, and uh, place it here. Now place the stuff back and let's run back to the Oh wait, I need some stone. I need some stone, stone, stone. Uh here. Good. Oh, I'm sorry guys. I I just wanted to make this episode kind of like with me not doing stuff off camera. To just give you guys the full perception and the feeling of what I go through to to my you know, to, to build my projects and stuff. So something something cool that I thought you guys might be interesting in interested in. And um yeah, so play some dirt. Like right here, place the scaffolding all the way till here. Same goes for this corner. Ah, uh, why does it take so long to break? Come on out. There you go. And place some dirt as well. Ah, uh, let me. Come on. Nope. Nope. There we go. Place the scaffolding and almost good. There we go. This should be high enough. Yes. Now the next step. Oh man, I need. I probably should get a shovel, man. This thing is slow because the diamond drill was fast for like everything, but this one is just freaking over slow. Anyway, uh, let's now place some. What should we use? I'm kind of tempted to use the this, like pum pum pum. Yeah, yeah, looks good. I think it looks pretty good. So let's use the scaffolding for the sides as well. Uh, let's see, like here, and then this side as well. So yeah, today is kind of like a little building episode, you know, 
kind of a little bit change, a little bit of a change up, something new. Might, might as well, you know. You never know what I'm gonna do in the next episode because I'm freaking sneaky like that. Boom. And also, guys, uh, the iron scaffolding is not actually. Whoop, that's wrong. It's not actually used for, for you know, for the aesthetics looks of stuff. It's actually used to, to climb stuff. Like, let me just showcase you without flying. Come on, uh, there we go. So you can just climb it like this. It works same way as. <clears throat> My God, I'm sorry. Uh, it acts the same way as the leather does. So yeah, cool, cool. Anyway, let's now place what I wanted to place in here. Place the glass. Even though it looks kind of stupid, it does not look anywhere anywhere near the you know the proper like legit iron. I mean.